Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. This is another obvious video. It's very clear who J.J. Bryan, that's the name of this artist. It's clear who he serves or who he served. He passed away in 2021, I believe. Just on his Wikipedia, he was an artist and other things. And most of us on this channel know, like, a lot of things are done in the name of art, and it's just, a, like, it's just offensive to Jesus and to Christians, right? The world doesn't like Jesus Christ. The world hated him, and it'll hate us too, brothers and sisters. So I highlighted here, the gallery attracted controversy as the official art gallery of Satan, right? Just putting it out there, just, just right hitting the nail on the head, right? And someone says, intriguing album cover, the dude on the right, J.J. Bryan, was an assistant to former National Security Advisor Brent, <coughs> pardon me, Brent Scowcroft in Washington, D.C., right? And at the bottom here, he has, Charles Manson is Jesus Christ. Here's an article. He wanted to, or he, you know, he, people called him Christ, a.k.a. J.J. Bryan, right? So he made his name Christ. He's doing one-eye symbolism here, the obvious version, right? More one-eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. Very clearly doing more one-eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. I think this is another artist, I can't think of his name, but he's doing the vow of silence and he's doing the eye of Horus. Here's an example of some of his quote-unquote art, right? Jesus Christ, our Lord God and Savior, died on the cross and he's surrounding it, making it seem, you know, corporate, or just sold out with some McDonald's, uh, the arches. So that's an example of his art, right? How edgy. It, 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 it's ridiculous. On his cake here, it says, Happy 24th birthday to the crown prince of hell, J.J. Bryan. Let them eat cake, Jesus Christ. His hat says, University of Satan. I believe this is part of his art exhibit. It just talks about Satan. I can't read all of what it says, right? Satan tempts you to do what you want. And Oh, it's Freemasonry. There's no way that these things are connected, even though we've seen it how many times? Honestly, for people that think Freemasons and Shriners just build children's hospitals and are just kind of like, you know, good guys, it is satanic. Why is that a problem? Because Satan takes people to hell with him. Because people would rather believe in Satan and have, like, whatever, fame, fortune, success in this world. Nothing is worth your eternity in hell. People need to have faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ and realize that that's the meaning of life. J.J. Bryan, who's clearly for Satan, is hanging out with the pillars and the G and sitting on a quote-unquote throne because he's part of Freemasonry. He's wearing the Freemason checkerboard pattern, and he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, a gesture that's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. It is not. It's the false light of Lucifer, who is Satan, and this goes along with Freemasonry, Luciferianism, Satanism, say what you want. This stuff is all antichrist. He, he did not hide who he worshipped. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.